now a special look at Red Sparrow in theaters March 2nd. I saw something I was not supposed to. They gave me a choice. Die or become a sparrow. From this day forward, you will become weapons of Russia. Are we going to become friends? Is that what you want? She's a sparrow. We can't trust a word that comes out of her mouth. I think she's recruitable. They will never let you go. Take your life back. Are you willing to work for the American government? Be your spy. There's something else we're not seeing. Do you trust me? You always stay one step ahead. She's made a fool of you. Make these men pay. I'll find a way. Red Sparrow, rated R, in theaters and IMAX March 2nd. Name? Dominique Egorova. Are you an officer of the Russian intelligence service? Yes. Are you willing to work for the American government? Yes. And you intend to give us genuine information? Dominique is a fascinating character. Fiercely intelligent. I'll be able to take care of us now. You don't have to do this. She's forced into a program against her will and trained in espionage. Dominica, do this for your mother. You are either the best I have trained, or you are very dangerous. She turns the tables. Her mind is fascinating. She's ten steps ahead of everybody who is trying to use her. It's this moment where she gains power. You belong to them. They will never let you go. I'll find a way. I play Nate, who is a government operative. He's sort of fallen from grace early in his career from Russia, but he's given a second shot to make contact with Jennifer's character, who's sent out into the field to get him and extract the name of his operative. Have dinner with me. Are we going to become friends? Nate finds himself falling for Jennifer's character. When you start to cross over into the area of feeling, can you trust that? Is what you're receiving honest or is it just part of the game to get what she wants? She's a sparrow. There's something else we're not seeing. Something's really inherently psychologically dangerous about the whole story and the whole world. There's something very satisfying about that.